Hi there, I'm Jack Canfield, and today I want to help you spruce up your morning routine. How you start your day from the moment you wake up sets the precedence for how the rest of the day and ultimately the rest of your life will go. Now, the first thing you should absolutely eliminate are negative thoughts. You should eliminate them from your life entirely. But again, it's best to nip this in the bud at the start of your day. They're not going to get you where you want to go. Instead, always look for a better feeling thought. You see, I believe that everything on earth vibrates at a specific frequency and you must become a vibrational match to the things you want to attract into your life. Think of yourself as a radio station. If you want to listen to jazz, you have to tune your dial to a jazz station, not a heavy metal one. Likewise, tuning the frequency of your thoughts and feelings to positive ones will bring you positive things. Now that goes along with the next thing you should not do in the morning. Don't immediately think about what could go wrong with the things that you have to do for the day. Don't dread having to find a parking space or think about being late to your appointment. Instead, I want you to close your eyes for a few minutes every morning and visualize your day going exactly the way you want it to go. You're going to find a perfect parking spot. You're gonna make your appointment. Your meeting is gonna go well. You're gonna make that sale. You're gonna finish that project. Every single thing is going to go exactly the way you want it to. This is what I call intending the day. The third thing you shouldn't do in the morning is start it without a purpose. Your bigger purpose, knowing why you get out of bed in the first place. So after visualizing your day, visualize your bigger long-term goals coming true. And take a few moments to say your affirmations as well. Those statements that describe your goals in their already completed state, like I am celebrating feeling light and alive in my perfect body weighing 135. I keep each of my goals and affirmations written on a three by five index card and I read them after I wake up in the morning and right before I go to sleep at night. Doing this consistently will activate your subconscious mind's power to fulfill the achievement of your goals. It'll look out for anything, whether it's people, opportunities, activities, and events that can help you achieve your goal. Now next, remember to be grateful. It's easy to just get up, jump right into working on getting things done and take for granted the things that brought you to this moment in your life. Instead, take a few moments to write down what you're grateful for. That's what I do every day. I promise you that this simple little technique will work miracles in your life. Putting yourself in a state of appreciation and gratitude puts you in one of the highest emotional states possible. And remember, the law of attraction states that like energy attracts like energy. Our thoughts are made up of energy, so if you think that way, you'll attract more abundance, which will give you even more things to be grateful for and thankful for. Now lastly, the fifth thing you should not do in the morning is ignore your inspired actions. If you get an inspiration to do something, act on it immediately. As opposed to the obvious actions, like changing your diet if you want to lose weight, inspired actions are more intuitive, a hunch or a gut feeling. You know those random thoughts you have like, I don't know why, but I have this urge to call my college roommate, or I have a strong feeling that I should attend that event tonight. You may learn something or be presented with an opportunity you never would have imagined by taking that action, like learning about a new fitness program. Now most of the time you won't see the whole plan, but if you get an inspiration, make sure to act on it. Do not put it off or let it go. Pick up the phone and make that call or go down to the coffee shop or go to that event that you thought of. Now, I can remember being at a conference in Connecticut with my wife and I felt attracted to go to a session on doubling my income. Now my wife questioned my decision because service better than money had always been my primary motive in life. I told her I didn't know why but I just felt compelled to go to that session. When I arrived at the session, I sat down next to a woman and I introduced myself. It turned out she was a veterinarian and she had just discovered a cure for feline leukemia. Now my cat had just recently been diagnosed with feline leukemia and because I had followed my inspiration to go to that session, my cat went on to live many more years because I had acted on that inspiration. Okay, so I'm gonna leave you with a homework assignment like I always do of eliminating at least one of these five things from your morning routine and replacing them with their opposite. Positive thoughts instead of negative thoughts. Visualize your day going well instead of visualizing it going badly. Focusing on your larger purpose and your long-term goals. 
taking a few moments to focus on what you're grateful for and acting on your inspirations. If you do, I guarantee you're going to see a dramatic, positive difference in how the rest of your day and your life plays out. Thank you for watching. And remember, nothing will change for the better until you do. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you like it, share it with a friend who may need it, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And for some additional resources on how to improve your daily routines, visit my website at jackcanfield.com.